Hey guys, this is Daniel Dr. D, and I want to tell you guys about the Space Tech Labs. Um, this is a 1024 Ultra DAC, and it's kind of a unique uh, uh, DAC, sort of a prototype, I suppose. Um, and if you look at this liquid crystal display, it's got like a eight times up sampling here. And uh, we spent some time uh, working with DACs. Now, I'm I if I were to pick, I think DACs like uh, most of the times when I've listened to DACs are, are you know, subtleties. Uh, they're not drastic, but they're um, subtle differences. And this is the first DAC that really has blown me away, uh, that really made me seriously say, geez, man, what a difference. And uh, I think what it is, well, I know what it is. The first thing uh, that really stood out to me when I first heard this was the soundstage. Uh, I'll just give you an example. Uh, on the other DACs I've listened to, which you'll see in this video, uh, you hear the soundstage like over here. And as soon as we popped in this DAC, the soundstage went from, you know, from this to this, all the way out here, just wide. And you can just hear it right away. In fact, uh, I even had my friend Bob do blind tests to A, B them. And it got to a point where it was so obvious to my ears that I actually didn't even need him to play the other DAC. I just immediately said, this is the DAC with my eyes closed. And that's just testament to how audible uh, the, the, the differences are. And the other thing uh, about this DAC and just the Space Tech Labs gear in particular that's so fascinating to me is the incredible flexibility of tube rolling that you get with this DAC. It's just unbelievable what you can get with tube rolling. Um, for example, we've switched out these uh, the outer tubes. We had a pair of Mullers, and then we put some Phillips tubes on the outside. Now, I don't know what specifically it is inside internally that does this, but Al at Space Tech Labs says if you change tubes on the outsides, that's what uh, can change you know make the the sound signature change and it does so we put these uh signatures uh, uh sorry these phillips uh tubes inside here and the thing that's really cool about this is how smooth and how sweet the sound is it's very sweet smooth sounding very wide sound stage we've got the kt-170s back here and obviously the 274 which we're going to switch for the emission labs 274 uh, instead because we've been noticing an improvement over this particular tube here but even in this current configuration it's just a stunning DAC and it's my favorite DAC of all time at least for me the best DAC we've heard we've had a few DACs go through here um, it, on the back side here <clears throat> it's uh, you have uh, RCA and balanced uh, configuration in the backside here so there is some flexibility there but i think uh the xlr cables are just absolutely the way to go and uh really a beautifully built product i mean if you look at the wood panels and the machined aluminum it's really nicely uh made and it al appears to have put some sort of like copper panel over the uh the transformer there which is really kind of nice and unique and uh, once again, I, you know, I think the price on this is about 11K, 12, 12K on this thing. So, uh, but man, you get your money's worth it and uh, with it. And uh, yeah, absolutely mind blowing. Now, one of the things I did notice, um, it's just interesting, the synergy between Al's gear, you know, when you... Uh, I just I don't know what he does, man. What the magic sauce is, but there's something this guy does that the the synergy that his gear, the way it works together, is just incredible. And uh, I think some components are just that way, you know. Um, overall, just really a stunning DAC. I can't say enough how much I love it. It's the first DAC that's really really floored me. And uh, when I first heard it, um, I was in love with it. So. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review, and we'll be back at you soon.